A couple of weeks ago a company called Rofi contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing this product. It's a white noise sound machine and initially I wasn't interested in reviewing the product so I never replied to the email but just lately I've been finding it very hard to get to sleep on a night time and occasionally I've been waking up in the early hours of the morning and not been able to get back to sleep again so I thought I'll give it a try just to see what it's like so in all honesty it really has helped me get to sleep and I'm very impressed with it this is the box and inside the box we've got the sound machine a USB to micro USB cable and a set of instructions it does not come with its own USB power supply you've actually got to use one of your chargers to power the machine so let's take a closer look at this particular machine at the top we've got an indication there to let you know when the power is on and then we've got one two three four five six different noise sample selections now the first one is fan and each of these selections has got five different tracks so five different fan sounds this is just white noise then we've got countryside and on this one you've got birds singing and there's one with a cuckoo on that type of thing water noise so waves and maybe a babbling brook then we've got stormy weather raining thunder and lightning this little thing with a heartbeat on has got a heartbeat sound for babies to help them sleep and one or two other sounds as well each one has got five so in total there are 30 different samples to choose from there is a control at the top and that's that light switch there now that is a touch control when the when the thing is powered on and you can actually activate the night light and I'll demonstrate that a little bit later on so if we look on the back of the machine you can see it's got DC 5 volts in and that's a micro USB slot now this thing does not have a battery and you can't put batteries in it so it needs to be connected to a USB power supply in order to work it doesn't have a battery operation so it must be plugged in this is a timer you can see we've got 30 minutes 60 minutes and then continuous so you can actually set it to run to 30 minutes and then turn off 60 minutes and then turn off or leave it running constantly and it's also got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack at the back so if we turn it round to the front you can see we've got five buttons there the one in the middle turns the power on and off that's fairly obvious and then we've got plus or minus and that's for the volume control and it does go to quite a loud volume and then on the left hand side this arrow switches between the different types of sound white noise fan nature that type of thing this button next to it selects the five different sources within within each one of these categories so it's quite simple to use when you get used to it and I'll demonstrate it in a minute the base has got four rubber feet and they do a very good job of stopping the thing from moving around once it's actually put on a hard surface so I'm going to plug this into a USB supply now and as you can see we've got an LED on the top there to say that the power is on so I'm going to turn the machine on now it's not just a case of clicking this button you've got to click it and hold it until it turns on and that's it turned on now the volume goes up and down in increments until it's turned off which means that you can turn the volume right the way down so there's no sound because you can turn up the volume all the way down to zero you can have the night light on without any sound or you can turn the night light off and just have this operating as a sound machine only so both those systems work independently of each other and I'll put it on the lowest volume and you probably won't even hear that on the uh, camcorder but I can hear it just now you can see that we've got a blue LED there on the white noise icon so this is a white noise I'm going to move it to the fan and to do that I've got to press this button here which is the arrow button if you watch it will go round so this is the fan so I'm going to turn the volume up a bit 
I'll go through the five different fan sounds. So this is the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Now that sounds like a pedestal fan or a desk fan, that one. And this is the last one now. Five. So I'll press the down arrow again. And now we've moved on to white noise. So I'll go through the five different white noise samples. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now they're basically just sort of hissing noises. Rather like the fan but not quite the same. I'll use the down arrow again and we'll go on to nature sounds. And we'll go on to the next one. That's number three. Number four. That's birds and a running brook with the sound of it. And number five next. So we'll go on to water. So that is obviously waves on the beach. So that's number one. Number two. Again, I would say that's like waves lapping on the beach, much gentler. Number three. Again, that's waves on the shoreline, a little bit uh, more aggressive that time. And then the last one. So the next group, rainy weather, stormy weather, that type of thing. This is number one. Number two. Number three. So number four is a thunderstorm. Number five, another thunderstorm. So we're going to the last group now, which is has got a, like a heartbeat as its icon. So that is the sound a baby would hear when it's inside the womb. So that's number one. I'll turn the volume up for this because you can't hear it very well. That's kind of like a fan sound, difficult to describe it. We'll go on to number three. Oh, turn the volume down a bit. Number four. Obviously whales, whale song. And then number five. is a ticking clock. So that's a demonstration of all 30 sounds. So to turn on the night light you just press that at the top. If I press that now you'll see the night light has come on. As soon as you turn that light on at the top you'll see that the light comes on and it starts alternating between bright and dim. So what you do is you wait until you've got the light at the intensity that you want 
and then hit that button again and it will stop the light where it was when you press the button or thereabouts it's a little bit hit and miss but it does work so you can have the light bright or dim even bright though it's pretty dim it is a good night light it's not bright at all I'll press that again it should turn the light off I am glad that Ruffy asked me to review this product because I found that it's helped me a lot on a night time I am sleeping better I'm not waking up with all the thoughts running around inside my head about what I'm going to be doing the next day that type of thing after spending years working offshore in a noisy environment I find a noisy environment is easier for me to get to sleep in and living in the countryside where it's really quiet sometimes I find that quite easy as well and enjoy it but other times I find that I need a little bit of ambient noise in order to get to sleep so this thing is a real godsend as far as I'm concerned and I shall be using it from now on as well as the white noise you've also got the night light and it is a nice little night light as well it's just sort of the right brightness I think it would be great for kids if they are like a night light in the room and that little bit of noise might be fine for helping your kids get to sleep as well I think it's a fine product I hope you found this review useful and thank you for watching